What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745 and welcome to my PvP Season 23, wait for it, rewards video. So let's see where we placed. It's going to be in the Adamantium League and at 2305 rating. So we got 100,000 silver, 10 gold, the Carafist, an unarmed melee weapon that has ethereal strike, knockout punch, so it stuns targets that have combo set up, and it also applies breakthrough and wind up to your agent. This means their next attack that hits is going to be a guaranteed critical hit, and it will also do 25% more damage. I do have to say, even though it's an unarmed melee attack, which could be bad, this weapon hits very hard. But for the Vibranium League reward, we get the Elite and Powered Ice Await. This is for a Bruiser class. It grants them Praetorian Guard, immune to cornered, and drains health and stamina from attackers when attacked by non-psychic melee attacks. Then it also has Scutum, immune to neutralized, and gains a scutcheon when attacked, increasing attack and defense. So a very nice E-ISO, and we'll try that out along with the Care Fist right away. But the real prize, the Adamantium League reward, is going to be Spider Girl. She is a bruiser just like Spider Gwen, and she has two passives, Black Suit, as well as Keen Senses. So what we're going to do with the rest of the video is recruit her, check out her dialogue, and then we'll try her out in some PvE action. Once again, we have every single character in the game, so we have indeed caught them all. Now onto her recruitment dialogue. Oh hey there, Agent. Sorry, I was just thinking about my world, my friends, my family. You know, my father once told me there's no way to get a good story, to do a good job, without embedding yourself in the dirt. Okay, if you say so. And that's an odd way to end it. Okay, she has a third dialogue. It's definitely a mess out there, so, for better or worse, I'm your girl. That probably sounds strange coming from me. But anyways, as you can see, we didn't even do our final five. And the only reason Red Hulk's on there is because I wanted to pick up some extra XP, which I only did one fight. So I do feel a little bit guilty about that. But skipping ahead at Spider Girl for the first time in action, we're going to use her with Spider Gwen. And this should be a pretty solid team up. Now Spider Gwen is at level 9 and we're going to take a look at her in PvP very soon. Besides Spider Girl, I'm also using the Kara Fist as well as the brand new Bruiser E-ISO. So we'll see how that one goes, but first, with Anya. Her level 1 is going to be a multi-function, and that I like. Having a multi-function available at level 1 is amazing. Even though we only have one ability, we still have options, and that's nice. So first we have Web Crazy, a ranged attack that applies webbed and Grand Spider Girl wind up. That means the next attack will do 25% more damage. Then her one shot, another ranged attack that applies webbed and webbed up. So most attacks will be intercepted by Spider Girl. We use that because, well, our agent's pretty hurt. And also, I wouldn't mind seeing her protect. Then after that, we use the Carefist for the first time, and it immediately drops an enemy. So on a Spider Gwen's turn, we'll start with her quick action. She comes in like a wrecking ball. I just realized there's going to be a lot of music references with these two. Then her level 9 actually does do quite a bit of damage. Here it doesn't look like it's going to be that great. And to be honest with you, well she does end up getting her proc. The problem last time was with flanked. But an even worse problem is she doesn't do that much damage. So even with her follow-up, she hits extremely weak. At least it looks like Spider Girl is going to do a little bit more damage. But Spider Gwen, in my opinion, does need pumped up. The Carafist, on the other hand, is a definite knockout weapon. At least for our pumped up agent against thugs. We'll have to see what it does in PvP. And yes, that's our first look at Spider Girl, first time ever using her. But... Just because we want to see her level 2. I'm going to go ahead and level her up and we'll be right back. 
All right, let's do this. We're taking on a double wave medium threat in chapter nine. We already saw both of Spider-Girl's first ability, well, both functions, but we do also need to set up webbing for her and for Spider-Gwen. So we'll begin with the one shot. All she needs is one shot. Then after that, we'll use bring the house down. Once again, swinging in like Miley. And everyone on the enemy team is now webbed. So we'll go ahead and use a hard rock. And that's just about as hard as you'll ever see Spider Gwen hit. It was definitely my record. With my agent, you can see that he does absorb energy. And we're not even using the T-Bolt glove. Though we will definitely try that out later. Also, unfortunately, we take down all three enemies. And that was much faster than expected. So we have to make sure we get that level 2 in. But once again, we need to web the enemy. I mean, really we don't, but... I guess I just like to live dangerously. Of course we get a rapier proc, and we take down one of the two remaining enemies. Then the mandible with its near 100% proc rate, we drop the enemy to just 66 HP. But that's enough. We'll just pass and let Spider Girl use her level 2. There goes Spaghetti. There's Spaghetti on her sweater already, Mom Spaghetti. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Lose Yourself Spaghetti version. Your life will never be the same. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I will continue to level Spider Girl, and we'll get another video of her very soon. I hope that all of you got the rewards that you were aiming for, and let me know where you placed in the comment section below. We'll be back very soon with an Age of Ultron Twins All Hell the King episode, and after that, Spider Gwen in PvP. So stay tuned, please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.